President Akufuado says he is determined to explore all options to enhance quality education under the free SHS program. He explained that the implementation of the double track system is one of the surest ways of providing good education to all. Speaking at the 70th anniversary of the Ghana National College in Cape Coast, President Kufado called for an all-hands-on-deck approach to make the system work. The rollout of the double-track intake system for senior high schools beginning this September, according to government, will create room to accommodate the increase in enrollment, reduce class size, increase contact hours, and increase the number of holidays. The system divides the entire student body and staff into two different tracks. So while one track is in school, the other is on vacation. But the new policy, yet to be implemented, has received a barrage of criticisms. Speaking at the 70th anniversary of the Ghana National College in Cape Coast, President Ekufuado explained some of the benefits of the system. Far from it being a new intervention that is being experimented in Ghana, it is noteworthy that it has been implemented elsewhere and found to be successful in countries as diverse as the United States of America, Australia, Kenya, and Japan. I am confident that the end result of the system will lead to an increase in quality of our SHS structure. I'm inviting everybody, parents, teachers, administrators, students, the Parent Teacher Association, the regional and district directors of education to embrace this system and work to make sure that it succeeds. President Ekufuado acknowledged the contribution Ghana National College has made to national development by producing very resourceful and enterprising people and mentioned the renowned mathematician Professor Francis Alote of Blessed Memory as an example, he noted that the existence of the Ghana National College is linked to Ghana's history. The chief executive of the Petroleum Commission, Mr. Egbert Fable, who is an old student, pleaded with the president to help the Ghana National College to secure its lands which have been encroached upon. The headmistress of the college, Mrs. Juliana Wusuansa, thanked government and the old students for their contribution to the college. She highlighted many successes the school has chalked up over the years. The percentage of passes to the tertiary institutions has increased steadily from 33.8% in 2015 to 83.1% in 2017. The Oman Hine of Asin Rinchi Ehunambubrim Pra Ajinsim commended government for the free SHS initiative, but he appealed to government to be flexible and allow citizens who are capable of supporting the initiative to do so. Ghana National College is one of the country's top schools. It was founded on July 20th, 1948. The school has a motto, Pro Patria, which means for the honor and glory of our motherland, the theme for the anniversary celebration is rekindling patriotism in our future leaders.